The ladies of the Texas Two Steps put a whole new spin on what it means to be the OGs of basketball. We got our official granny basketball. Of approval. <laughs> this group of local women meet Wednesday evenings at Pete Junior High School in Conroe to train for games in the Granny Basketball League. Off their rockers and onto the court. Granny Basketball is a team sport. It's an organized league. There's pushing 550 players and so there's tournaments, there's league games. It's a lot of fun. I mean, there aren't many team sports for ladies that are experienced like us. So, and I'm 65, so I don't want to quit playing basketball. The league follows the 1920s rules. No jumping, no running, and just two dribbles. A lot of ladies will think they can't play basketball because they look at how rough it is on TV or whatever. And this is really tamed down so that ladies can enjoy it. And it's about safety. We don't want anybody falling. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So that's why there's the no contact. In fact, whenever anyone does go down, there's a saying for that. It's called granny down, granny down. And whoever fell has to go sit out for a play. Because again, it's about safety and we want to make sure nobody's hurt. It's wonderful fun. It's built on safety. It's a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie. And we just have the, the best time and I, I can highly recommend it. There's definitely a fitness aspect to it. And my mobility is better, balance is better, just all around fitness is better. Players of all levels are welcome. From people who have never played on a team before. Where I was in California, they didn't have girls teams in those days. To international stars. We have the lady that played on the Dominican national team. I play in the 70s in the national uh, team in my country, the Dominican Republic. So I played for the 10 years over there. When you were in your 20s playing basketball, did you think one day you might be playing granny basketball? Never ever, because I even didn't know they have that league. Gentlemen are welcome as fans and team helpers. Uh, I'm in the background. I help wherever needed. During the games, I'll referee or I'll keep the scorebook, uh, help organize practices, put the lineup together, try to get on websites and advertise. So I'm kind of... My little, marketing director. Yeah, a little <laughs> of everything to help out. Otherwise, the game is for the girls. Tell me about your uniforms, because your uniforms are pretty special. Oh, this is 1923. Women had to be completely covered. In fact, we have a special foul called a flesh foul. If anything shows, like if your, if your blimmers come up or your socks come down and you show a little bit of leg, that's a foul. My daughter said I should think of the uniform as representing the suffragettes of the 1920s who fought for the right to vote and were the start of everything. So that's what I, that's what I think about it. We're always looking for more players. Skill level doesn't matter. The ladies just have a blast. I mean, even ladies that maybe didn't play it a lot. So if you're even thinking about it, bring your friends. Come watch a practice. We stop people in the grocery store or in restaurants. We'll ask them, do you play basketball or do you want to play basketball? And a number of them will say, oh, no, I'm, I'm too old. Oh, I couldn't do that. You know, and they're, they're younger than I am and in probably in better shape. And I always try to encourage, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you can do it. One thing is for sure, the women of the Texas Two Steps are proof that it is never too late to get back in the game. You know what, if you want to play, the Texas Two Steps are recruiting, and even if you've never, ever played before, we will get the details up online so you can check it out and see how you can join the Granny Basketball League. Just head to houstonlife.tv, go to the Scene On section. That was such a fun night. Did they say flesh foul? Yes, they did, and you would get one right so now because your knees are showing, showing Lauren. I'm showing my knees. <laughs> so a you can show anything. Nope, every, that's why the socks go really high and then the little pants 
pantaloons go low and they, you, they play in long sleeves. The pantaloons. I love every <laughs> single one of them. It's so inspiring. And also, yes. we've joked and laughed about how Brandon and I are playing on a kickball team. Yeah. And we're, you know, we're maybe not retirement age quite yet, but I really do think that if you are sitting at home and you're wondering, yeah. you know, maybe there's a new social outlet yeah. for me. Yeah. My mom was saying as she's gotten older, she's like, so many of my friends are gone now. They've either passed away or right. they've moved away. Yeah. And I think it's great to connect with other people through sports. Absolutely. I love it's the Granny so Basketball. True. You can meet a whole lot of new friends. And that's what a lot of the women said to me. They were like, I've found a whole new friendship group. Yeah. And don't be put off. Like, it's not at all a contact sport because they play with the 1920s rules. Oh. So good it's gentle, too. which is good. I don't like tough sports. So I was like, this is my kind of game. <laughs> it was fantastic. I love it. And Janet, I'm going to take you up on your offer. I'm going to come visit you. Yeah. Yes. Love to. All right.